Hello everyone, this is my I don't sound overly optimistic like every other YouTuber guide for Elden Ring on how to get some better armor. This is the Twins armor, it's really going to help your character get some better matches on Tinder, and you may have seen D wearing this armor. So to get this, the first thing you'll want to do is to go to the round table hold and see if D's here. If he is, talk to him, and you may get the option to show him some death root. If you do get the option, show it to him. If you don't, it's probably because you don't have death root yet. So I'll show you how to get it in a second. So have a little chat with him. I don't have any death root on this save. So I'm going to go and get some. So we're going to go over here to the Summon Water Village outskirts. That's where it is on the map. No nonsense. Go there. Right, so if D is not at the round table hold from the site of grace I just went to, come up here towards the graveyard. He will be here, standing over this body. Talk to him, and then when you go back to the round table hold, he will be there. But if you come here first, and he's not here, or if you've already been here and spoken to him, he will be at the round table hold. Just so you can see where it is. Again, no nonsense. I don't need to tell you my life story to tell you how to do something on a video game. I told you I was going to show you how to get the armor and that's what I'm going to do. So, back on your horse. We're going to go get the death route now. Let's go down here. There's that sight of grace you may want to get. So here, there's a guy on a boat. He summons enemies. Also, he's not that tough to kill. Either way, get him dealt with. He'll teleport around and spawn enemies. Just do your best to get him dealt with. You've got that sight of grace right there. Doesn't matter if you die. When you take these enemies down, you'll need to hit them once more on the floor to get them finished, otherwise they'll stand back up. So after a little while, you'll get this guy dealt with. He died how he lived. On a boat. Alright, you'll also get Ashes of War for killing that guy. And your first piece of death root. So, now that you've done that, Good times had by all. Let's go back to the round table hold. So now that that's done, go and show D the death route. Accept the introduction, and he'll mark the location on the map for you. You can see it's over here, not too far from the third church of Mariko. If you've already got that location, that's where we teleport to go ahead and farm runes. If you're looking for that guide, it'll be linked around in the description. Okay. So now we're here, get on your horse, go to the back of the church. And here's the teleport location. I'm not 100% on whether you need to do this, but it's best to get it out of the way because D's not going to be around anymore when we get his armor. So when you load in, you'll be... Dragon Barrow, come to the back, you can get this Sight of Grace if you like. Have a quick talk with this guy. He sounds more depressed than I do. Yep. Okay. Once that's done, Look for this site of grace. 
which is down here, very close to the beginning area of the game. And we're going to go towards this fort. There is a site of grace right near here. I wasn't sure where it was, so I got it on the way out. I will show it just after I've got what we need from this place. Right. There's also a golden seed here if you want it. Head on in, run past all the enemies, don't worry about them. Again, we're going to run past all these enemies. All the way up the top, watch out for these guys throwing bombs. Watch out for that knight. He's a strong enemy, he'll kill you easily. All the way up this ladder. And in this chest, we'll find the left half of the medallion we're looking for. The Dectus medallion. Okay. So let's go get the second half. It's in this fort. And I will show you the map once we've got this. This is over on the far right side of the map. Fort Farrath. If you're struggling with the location of any of these places or you can't see my map well enough, I do show the map just after this. You can always Google it and figure out where the locations are. So we're going to come all the way up here, open up the chest, and there's the second half of the medallion that we need. Let's take a look at the map here, you can see where we are, we're over on the right side of the map. You'll have to come into, I think the area is called Kalium, or something along those lines. But that's where you'll come from, over on the left there, and come all the way over to the right. You'll run past a bunch of dragons and end up here. So now we're going to go back to the Stormhill Shack. For the rest of this, we're going to need to get into Larnia. Usually you'd have to fight two bosses to get there. But you can just run around everything. Okay. Run past all of these guys and under the bridge. So, this bridge has been broken, but if you drop down, there's a path you can follow around to get to Lernia without fighting the bosses. Okay. Careful not to fall off the edges. There are also some wolves along the way. You don't have to fight them if you don't want to. Okay. I hope you're enjoying my no-nonsense guides for Elden Ring. I get sick of listening to some people, so I thought I'd make some guides that hopefully don't want to make you shove hot pokers into your ears. I'm sure there's some people out there that share my views. Let's keep going. All the way around here. Also, if you're a regular of my channel, I'm sorry if my voice sounds different. I'm using a different microphone. Because I'm actually away from home at the moment. Okay. Sight of Grace right here. Let's get that. And now we're in Larnia. This is where we are. The lake facing cliffs. And we need to go upwards. That's where we came from. The Stormhill Shack. And that's the, the way we went. So now we need to come all the way up here. 
through this lake area. There's different ways you can go to get there. I'd recommend going this way that my cursor is going right now. There's a couple of different ways to get to where we need to get to, but that's the way I would recommend taking. When you reach this area, you'll have some cliffside jumps for you to jump down, or you can take this ravine to get down. Again, I'm sure you've got enough IQ to figure out your way there. It's pretty much a straight path. But essentially, we're trying to get to here, which is the Grand Lift of Dectus. You may have already been there. If you've already done this stuff, I'm sorry for wasting your time, but not everybody has, so thanks for having some patience. So when you get here, this is what it's going to look like. You've got a Sight of Grace right here. Get on that if you want to. Okay, this is where we are. Let's go ahead and use the medallion over here. And you will get a little cutscene play. I'll let this play, seeing as it's one of the only cutscenes in the game, really. There's not really a fat lot of them. But that's not what these games are about. These games aren't about fun. <clears throat> They're meant to be challenging. In the same sort of way as trying to break a brick wall by throwing water at it is challenging. Okay. So now once you're here, you need to find a couple of sites of grace, or just one. I'm not sure where they all are, but I will lead you to one, in case it's the first time you've been here, or if you're on a new save. You might not remember where they are. So I just head forward here, and you can see in the distance a path up to the left. We're going to take that path. This is where we are. You can see the fork in the road. If you head off to the right and up all the stairs, if you keep going and past the two tree sentinels, you can find a couple of golden seeds. I should have some videos coming out showing the locations of the Golden Seeds and the Sacred Tears fairly shortly. But for now, let's just focus on this. There's another Golden Seed if you want it. So three in total within a fairly short distance of each other. So keep coming up here. There's also the map piece there if you want it. I think there is a Sight of Grace before this one, but it's just one I remember. Keep following the road. You can see sort of half a bridge ahead of us. That's where we're going to. Okay, get the Sight of Grace. Sorted. So now that you've done that, we want to fast travel back to the Table of Lost Grace. These steps are necessary for getting the next pieces of dialogue to trigger. It's the only reason we need to do it. You've met Speak to D again. I think you've earned the power of the Golden Order. He does allow you to buy things from him, but 
essentially in doing what we're doing, D is going to get killed and we're going to get his armor, but you'll get a bell bearing from him and uh, you'll be able to give that to another merchant so that you can buy the items he has. After speaking to D, come in here and speak to Fio. Let her hold you and she'll give you her blessing. She's obviously a fan. All right, so you'll more than likely just get the blessing there. This is the first time that I've spoken to her, which is why I didn't trigger the dialogue. If more dialogue triggers for you, talk in secret with her and then also click the dialogue that says, may I ask a favor? If it doesn't, it may be because like me, it's the first time you've spoken to her on your current save. So, if that's the case, leave the, the round table and then come back and then go and talk to her again. I am pleased. Would you like me? The blessing. Would you like now? Let her hold you again. I'm skipping through the dialogue here. The dialogue really isn't that important to me. What's important is getting the armor. Okay. So, may I ask a favor? Again, I'm skipping through it. She'll give you the weathered dagger. And then you don't have to ask about the dagger. You can just leave. And then once you have control again, go and give the dagger to D. Okay, leave, and then now what we need to do is leave the round table hold. And then go back. Okay, so now we're going to go to where the blacksmith is. Usually there's doors there that are closed. But they're open now. Head down there. And D will be dead on the floor. And we can take his armor. You'll get the bell bearing. You give that to the merchant in the back. And there you go. You can do that right at the beginning of the game. You don't need to fight anyone to get it. Not really too much work. And it is very good armor. But it also looks great. And if you haven't got anybody to hug you, the armor is hugging you. Thanks for watching. I hope the video helped you out. Let me know if it did. I've got some other guides around that are no nonsense that won't make you hate life by watching them or be ashamed to be a gamer which is how I feel when I watch people's videos these days again, have yourself a good day if you want to support me further you can always follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash iframes it'll really put some hair on your chest um, yeah, and all that other good stuff that everybody begs for on the internet these days all those upvotes, likes and subs and stuff you know what I'm saying? Have a good day. That's about it from me. See you next time.